Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Satyaku ku dan makan dan maku ku baktikan. Salam pramuka. The Honorable All Judges and the entire committee for the storytelling competition of the Junior Shafa Scout Competition 2022. Also, my dear Indonesian Scout brothers and sisters. First, let us be grateful to Allah who has given us help and happiness so that today we can meet virtually in the storytelling competition. Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are healthy always. Let me introduce myself. I'm famous from Islamic Senior High School of Matori Udutetrosawa, Jepara. Here, I will tell you about a legend from my agency, Jepara, namely The legend of Teluk Awol Village Have you ever been there? Or do you know the story? Okay, please attention to me Long, long ago, in a village, there was a husband and wife who lived happily they love each other. The husband named Say Abdulaziz and his wife, Denayu Rorokuni. She has a perfectly beautiful face like an angel. Say Abdulaziz worked in the field every day, but before the work was done, he often came home to see his beautiful wife. Dear, I always miss you, dear. Your face is so beautiful, sighed Say Abdulaziz. Why do you go home? What if your work is not finished? Hmm. Huh. Okay, mas. Instead of you go home just to see my face, I have an idea. How about you burn my face? Suggested the wife. The wife had an idea for her husband to burn her face and great when go to the field. One sunny morning, Sir Abdulaziz did his usual activities. He went to the field and did not forget to bring the wife's binding. Arriving at the field, the painting was placed on the basket. Suddenly, a strong wind came which caused the painting to fly away and finally fell in front of the royal courtyard of King Joko Wongso. How shocked the king after seeing the painting! The woman so beautiful! Without thinking, King Joko Wongso ordered the soldiers to look for the woman and brought the Ayura Kuning to Joko Wongso's kingdom. In the field, when Seabul Aziz wanted to see the West painting, he didn't find it. Where? Where is the finding? Where? Then he heard the news that his wife was broke by King Joko Wongso. Hearing this, Seab Gladys then went to the royal courtyard. There, he sang while playing Kandru. <laughs> was heard by Den Ayu Lorapuni. She swore that it was the voice for her husband, so she ordered the sheriff to call him. Finally, they agreed to make a plan so that Den Ayu couldn't become Joko Wong's wife. Your Majesty, I'm ready to become your empress, but on condition, you must find a dancing muscle and dress like a fisherman, complete with the piece. As Denayu, without a desire, Joko Wongso set out to sea in the hope of giving Denayu Lorapuni by leaving his royal clothes. Meanwhile, in the kingdom, Seablaz is changed clothes to wear the royal clothes. Then, he ordered the people and soldiers to check out the beach because there was a spy who will destroy the kingdom. In this order, the people and soldiers set out to find the spy, who was actually the king. And the result, without being asked first, they gained up on the fishermen. In this situation, the king said, Taluk! Taluk! 
which means surrender. The, the people and shoulders didn't want to go. Before his death, the king said, I'm your king. I told you to look, to look. But you still say no, which means inconsequential. The words of Jotong Sa were used to name on the village and the sea, namely Telu Ao. Precisely in Taunan district of Jepara Vigenzi. The beach in Telu Ao is very beautiful. So are you curious about Telu Ao village? Come on to Jepara. Well, that's a legend for Telu Ao village from me. Forgive me for my faults. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam Pramuka!